changing coaching session. Remember, it's what you think of the situation, how you think of it, and what you make of it. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and invite our internationally accredited money coach, Wusi Silesho. Come and take center stage, take your seat, make sure you're comfortable, it's going to be a long time. Okay, so um, the chapters have been selected by the coach herself. We didn't bully her. I know. Nice to see you can do that. What do we can tell you? She said chapter 1, 2, and 14. So all Day 1, 2, and 14. Oh, sorry, not chapter 1. Thank you. Day. Day 1, day 2, and day 14. So we'll start by reading day 1. You talk us briefly about it, you tell us what to do, and we will all two do it together. Does anyone not have a book and pen? Does anyone need a book and a pen? Okay. I, I put my paper up. With Does anyone have a book and a pen to share? Yeah. Can we please give you two seconds to share your books and your pens? So I've got paper here. Then I'm willing to share because Nisha is there. Nisha. If you want something, you can share. Anyone else? Okay. So we are all on the same page of different books. Maybe once they get ready, <laughs> once they get ready, maybe Pussy, you can tell us why you specifically chose day one, day two, and day fourteen. Yes, Andrew, I'll do that. So, day one is talking about um, what do you love? Why that? Is because that is the cornerstone of all of it. All of the money you need is in the things you love. Okay, then day two is about self-love. So, if you don't have self-love, you're not gonna make the effort to take care of yourself. And then day 14 is uh, a meeting with self. So that's where the two meet. The love of you and the love of what you love in life. So hence the three. Okay. Okay, great stuff. Um, Zibu, our interviewer, did you see that her very important answers to you are in what she's doing? She's doing self-love, love what you do, and a meeting with yourself. Hey, but who should say by that? It's like she's going to Right. So I will read. I am glad that my matric English teacher is not in this room. Oh, Jaja. So, so, food that is Katie. Let's go. Day number one. Do what you love. It all begins with love. It all goes well with love. Loving ourselves, loving what we do, and most of all, love loving of the most important moment, which is the now. Doing what you love is the best blessing. When you are doing what you love, there is no struggle. And you will find out if you haven't already, that is, there is also a lot of money. Because money loves love. Success is going to come easy with love. We have it inside us all, the answers we seek. We ask the questions below after doing 68 second meditation, which is to take nine deep breaths through your nose and out through your mouth and think of something that makes you happy. For example, a waterfall, ocean, waves, forest, if you can see about dancing like Beyonce, for one minute and you wait for the answer to come to you. You will get pure truth. Find out what you love and do it on a daily basis. If you don't love, if you, if you don't love all of it, which parts do you love? Why do you love it? What do you love the most about what you love? How do you feel when you're doing that one thing you love? If you don't do what you love, what do you love? Hmm. What would it look like doing what you love? How would it feel like doing what you love? If you are not sure, if you love what you do or do not, ask yourself why. I'm not saying you're going to do this tomorrow, so relax. 
if you decide to ask <laughs> if you decide to ask for it you will work towards it it will come to you if you give it focus just be truthful for 15 minutes so this is where today's activity is going to come from after she talks to us but we'll not have 15 minutes today we'll just do it for five minutes just be truthful for 15 minutes that is all you need. Be careful of limiting beliefs. We will deal with them later. Ask them to wait for you a little bit, Gupi, outside. So I'm a limiting beliefs, school activity, five minutes, I am Gupi, outside. For example, what I love won't pay my bills. I'm a limiting beliefs, I'm an example. I don't know what I love. I'm too old to do what I love. This is too much work. I'm too scared to do what I love. I don't know how to do what I love. What I love won't work. Guys, how often do we think that? If you feel the limiting beliefs are too heavy, that they don't want to stay outside for 15 minutes or so, you can have this meeting with yourself. Write the limiting beliefs down. We will work with them during the course. Once you have written them down, they will stop making a noise and introducing, and intruding, sorry, and intruding on your thoughts. Then day one will be done. Please go ahead and share your thoughts on the Facebook group for day one. Madam Speaker, please talk us through day one and then we will do the activity. Okay. So day one is about the love. The love of what you love. So if you are getting up every morning and going to do work or business that you do not love you are already setting up yourself for lack because it, when you don't love what you do you do it for a reason so you will do it for paying bills you will do it for this and that you are not doing it for a head for doing this work so if you are not loving it you already know it's a problem so, then the next thing is, how do you know what you love? Well, most of the times we do not think of it. Who says I wake up in the morning and just think of what I love? Do we do that? Who says I wake up in the morning and just think of all oh, this day? You see the, 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 the problem already there. So, people who are successful, people who do have what they want normally they wake up and ask a very very important question what do i love what what they ask what do i love about this day what do i love about my life now if you could be able to So what must we do for the five minutes now? So for the five 
I will now write down the things we love. Anything that comes to mind. If you don't have to think ah, if you can do it, or if you can make you money, or if you have studied enough for it, or just write what you love. It might not come out easy. It might, uh, you know, you might get a block, but just think easily of what you love. If it's flowers, you love the Don't you think it's like, do I have to make a, a flower a business? No. If it's flowers, it's flowers. If it's white rooms, it's white rooms. If it's, I love the color white. And everywhere I am, I, I, I have so many white t-shirts. I don't even know why I love them. But every time I'm wearing this white t-shirt, someone says, you look good. So apparently white t-shirts make me mad. Because when I wear white t-shirt and I get into a business meeting, people think, oh, this, we should talk to this lady. Mm. So you see, you don't have to, I don't have to make the white t-shirts. Mm. But just for me loving them, I'm already making waves. You see, so write down the things you have. You don't have to think about money when you think about what you have. Just write what you have. <laughs>